Western Australia has long been renowned for our amazing viticulture industry. In fact, the Swan Valley is one of the oldest wine regions in the country. But WA is no longer just about wine. There's a new kid in town. I say kit because the industry here is relatively young by comparison, but it's focused around age-old techniques, those of distilling. And WA's spirit producers have a fast-growing reputation around the country, whether it be vodka, gin, whiskey or rum. While you may have enjoyed the cellar door experience in the past, you can now visit distilleries right on the doorstep of the city, like here in Swan Valley at Old Young's Distillery, where they produce handcrafted vodka and gin. Well, James, what I love about this is it's so focused on Western Australia because you use a lot of local ingredients and it's all made here in the Swan Valley. Yeah, absolutely. For us, as much as we can use local produce, we do. This orange came from Gin Gin. We use locally roasted coffee. We make a Six Seasons gin. It's based around the Aboriginal Six Seasons calendar, and that uses six native botanicals from, from this area. So your vodkas, you've got everything. You've got coffee, you've got chilli, but the pure vodka, it's just been awarded the best vodka in Australia. It has. It won the trophy for Australia's Best Vodka. That's uh, awesome. It was the only gold medalist. Uh, so it, from what I hear, the judges loved the fact that uh, we were using local ingredients. So again, it was, that's, I think it was the, the grapes that we used from the Swan Valley that give it a, a point of difference to everybody else. And yeah, look, I'm really, really proud of it. It's an exciting time for the state's local producers and opens up a world of possibility. Even closer to the city, you'll find Whippersnapper Distillery in East Perth. And if you're a whisky lover, chances are you've already come across it in bars and pubs. Jimmy, this is a pretty phenomenal setup and you do everything here on site, don't you? Yeah, that's right. Uh, so we get the grains in, we source all locally uh, grown grains, uh, such as corn all the way from Kananara, a bit of wheat from my mate's farm and all the barley is locally grown. And uh, it's all sourced here, it's all milled here. I mean, we didn't set out to make and replicate what happens in Scotland and, and in America. So that's the cool thing about what we're doing here. Our whisky is going to have a very unique taste to other whiskies around the world. So tell me, this beauty here, Darth. This is our column still. I had, we needed some knobs for the handles here. So we've got some uh, Darth Vader heads. So aptly, we've got named Darth too. But it's probably the only one you'll see a uh, like this in Australia. And this is what turns a beer into a spirit. Did you say the beer into a spirit? Yeah, absolutely. So we actually um, so we make, make a beer and we extract the alcohol out of the beer. So all the beer goes in here and we evaporate the alcohol off. So that's how you make a whiskey. Nice. Right. Yeah. So Jimmy, what have we got here? This is not quite whiskey. Not quite whiskey. So this is a uh, moonshine. So essentially what moonshine is, it uh, comes straight off the still, so it's a precursor to our whiskey before it gets aged. I'm definitely no expert. Talk me through, what should you be looking out for? Well, with moonshine, uh, we've made it to be quite subtle. So it's very similar to a lot of other white spirits, I guess. Uh, we want it to be very approachable. So it's quite sweet, because you get a lot of corn that comes into the mash bill. Oh, that's beautiful. Thanks, Jimmy. Well, next time for a special evening, why not give these local WA producers a go? Buy WA, they're making beautiful, high-quality boutique spirits. Or even better, pay them a visit and see how it's all done.